Hey, hi, hey everybody, it's Michelle, and this is my channel, Michelle Cherie. I am so glad you are here watching this video. I kind of blend into the couch, but that's okay. <laughs> Today I will be talking about a book I very recently finished reading. So you know how a few videos ago I made a video about five books I want to read this year? Well, <laughs> this isn't one of those books, but I still wanted to make a video about it because I like books. I like to read, and that's what I want part of this channel to be about, is books. And it is called And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. And I read this very old and well-loved copy from the library where the laminating is wearing away and there's scotch tape on on the spine and it's just super old with these really thin old pages and that's when you know you've got a good book when it looks like this from the library because so many people have read it and they probably liked it too. I don't know about giving this video a spoiler alert exactly but it's kind of hard for me to talk about the book without like talking about the book so this is your general spoiler alert that I will be discussing things in this book if you don't want to know what goes on in this book then don't watch this video. Watch one of my other videos. I'll post a few down below. <laughs> but if you have read this book or you are interested in this book, then keep watching. So a very brief synopsis of this book is that ten strangers are mysteriously summoned to this island called Soldier Island. And there is a, a house slash mansion there. And they are asked to stay there for various reasons. And I'm not going to go into those reasons because they don't really matter. But once they are there, they are gathering for dinner, these ten people. So this record starts playing and it lists, it goes through all ten people and lists a person or a couple people that they are responsible for the death of these people. What? What's going on at this house? So all of these people are having their own secrets exposed, are learning the secrets of everyone else there at the house, and everyone's like, oh, what's going on? And I should mention before this, they, like while people are arriving at the house and getting their rooms set up and getting their luggage there and stuff, they have each learned that there is a nursery rhyme posted in each person's room. And this nursery rhyme is about 10 little soldier boys, and it just goes down and counts down the list, 10, 9, 8, 7, and each each stanza lists either the disappearance or the death or just the, the getting rid of one of the soldiers. And at the end, the very last line of the nursery rhyme is, and then there were none. So that's why this book is called, and then there were none. What? So now all these people have heard the record, they're kind of freaking out, like, what's going on? They're trying to defend themselves, saying, this happened and this happened. I was not responsible for the death of that old lady. I didn't know I ran over those kids. But some of them are admitting to being being the cause of these people's deaths, you know, indirectly, like we didn't quite get her to a medical person in time, or he drowned in the water and I couldn't save him in time, and things like that, and it's like, pfft, you are all guilty, come on. So now they are trying to figure out who played this record, what's going on here, why are we all here, what is happening? And then someone dies. Someone drinks a drink and it kills them. And they are scared. And they also notice that one of the ten little soldiers... Oh, dang it, I didn't mention that. <laughs> Also in the house, there are ten little soldier figurines, which goes along with the ten little soldiers poem. And when this first person dies, after they drink the drink that has the poison in it, they soon discover that one of the little soldier figurines is missing. It is gone. One of the people is gone, and one of the soldiers is gone. And it keeps going like that. As the days go on, more people keep dying, and they're dying how it's described in the poem. And as they die, another little soldier figurine goes missing, or it's broken, and it's just gone. So there are the ten soldier figurines, the ten people, and the ten soldiers poem. They are all related, and people are dying. And these people are freaking out, of course, because people are dying, and they are stuck on this island, and there's a huge storm happening, so a boat is not gonna come. And they can't take a boat back to the mainland because of the storm, so they are stuck there. And they are stuck there trying to figure out who is doing this, what is going on, who is murdering all these people, are they gonna kill me next? So this is just full of the mystery of who is responsible for this, who is killing these people. And then it gets to a point towards the end where multiple people cause multiple deaths of the ten people on the island. So then you're thinking, did one person kill another person and it just was a ripple effect and they all just ended up dying? Spoiler alert, they all die. <laughs> or you're thinking, did one person kill this many people and then towards the end, you know, these people killed each other. And then later when everyone's dead, the storm dies down, people get to the island, they're trying to figure out what went on with all these people and why there are ten dead bodies on this island. And they see 
see that people have been poisoned and drowned and shot and someone is hanging from a noose in their room. So many deaths all on this island and they come up with different scenarios that could be possible. If this person drowned here, maybe this person got shot here and then this person had the bear clock fall on them and then this person was hanged in her room. But there was a chair there. She must have stood on the chair to hang herself in the noose that was in her room. But then the chair was against the wall. Who moved to the chair? Who moved to the chair? That is a big question. The person had to get on the chair, hang herself, but she had to kick the chair over and the chair would have stayed kicked over, but it was moved. Someone alive moved to the chair. Who moved to the chair? Cause all these people appear to be dead. What even happened? It's so confusing. And you just don't think you'll ever know and you'll never figure it out and you're like, Agatha, please, please give me some closure. Please tell me what happened. Who killed all these people? And then the last few pages of the book, you do find out who did it. I'm not gonna tell you that part, although I have told you <laughs> a lot of the story so far, but I'm not gonna tell you who did it. Was it the doctor or the old lady or the person that was like a governess girl or the couple that are serving the meals to the people while they're at the house? Was it the driver? Was it the judge? Was it the general? Who was it? Who did it? Was it the ex-inspector? All these people, I hope I named them all. I might have left some people out. So then you find out why this person has summoned all these people to the island, how they found and how they decided to pick and choose who they wanted to be there, why they chose to do what they did and who ultimately did it. It was a great book. The moment I started reading it, I was very interested, very entertained, and just very, what's gonna happen? Who is it? Who is it gonna be? And I plan on reading more Agatha Christie novels in the future. If you have read any Agatha Christie novels, let me know which ones you have read, which ones you have liked, and put it in the comments down below. I want to know the next Agatha Christie novel I should read. Is there a movie adaptation of this? I feel like I've seen a play like this in high school, but, but me trying to remember the play I saw in high school and read th this book, it did not matter match up for some reason. So I feel like they were different, but kind of similar, but mostly different. So if you know of any movies that are based off of this book, I would love to learn about them. So put that in the comments down below. I would appreciate that. So my first experience with Agatha Christie was very good. I was entertained and it was easy to read and it kept me very interested. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad you're here. If you liked this video and you want to give it a thumbs up, that would just warm my heart. Please subscribe to my channel to join the club, the Michelle Cherie Club. I kind of just named it myself and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.